You're looking at attorney Kenneth Chesborough taking a plea deal ahead of his Mr. trial Chesborough in the election right interference case against former President Trump in Georgia. In the, in Chesborough, who was set to go on trial in just a matter of days, uh, the, the plea deal comes just a day after his co-defendant, former Trump attorney Sidney Powell, agreed to plead guilty to six Final misdemeanor counts. I want to bring uh, in senior Chesbro, investigative reporter Aaron Katursky for more. Aaron, what do you make of the timing here? Chesbro pleading guilty a day after Sidney Powell did the same. And as potential jurors were being brought into that courtroom to start filling out questionnaires because both Chesbro and Powell, as part of their defense tactics, requested an expedited trial. And the judge severed their cases from that of the others. And that meant that their trial was about to start next week, potentially, assuming a jury would be seated. That now is not going to happen. Those jurors, potential jurors, will be excused because both Chesborough and Sidney Powell have now decided to plead guilty. So what exactly is he pleading guilty to? What was his role in this scheme? He is pleading to a single felony count. So there have been now three defendants in the case of the 19 who've decided to plead guilty. But Chesborough is the first to plead guilty to a felony. And the exact charge is conspiracy to commit filing false documents. Chesborough is an attorney who worked with the Trump campaign prosecutors, say, to orchestrate this scheme to seat fake electors who would have certified that former President Trump won the election in Georgia, even though he lost. And this was something that Chesborough, according to prosecutors, tried to repeat in other battleground states. This group of fake electors was seen on video meeting inside the Georgia State Capitol on December 14th and sending a letter, according to the indictment, that falsely says Donald Trump won, sent that to the, the archives of the United States, sent it to the chief judge in the Northern District of Georgia in Atlanta, where, where Fulton County is, and, and sent it to others as something of a historical record. But that document was fake. Joe Biden won the state and won the election. What does this mean? for the other defendants in this case, including former President Trump. Chesborough is now going to have to testify against Trump and the remaining alleged co-conspirators. And what exactly he will say, we don't know. But as you heard the prosecutor say, he had to give a videotaped proffer, meaning he had to say what he knows. And prosecutors can now put that to use when Trump and the others go to trial. If Chesborough, as alleged, was working with the Trump campaign on this scheme involving fake electors, uh, prosecutors uh, could well have him testify to that. Who were you working with? What did you do? You heard the prosecutor say Chesborough is going to have to turn over some additional text messages that are in his possession. We'll be interested to know who was on the receiving end of those texts. Aaron, could this now drive more defendants to take plea deals in this case? It's certainly possible because Chesborough is charged in this portion of the overall racketeering scheme with what, one, two, three, with more than a half dozen others involving this fake elector scheme. So you could certainly see instances now where those defendants, knowing Chesborough is cooperating with prosecutors, would themselves want to, to plead guilty. But um, no offers that we know of or no deals in the works just yet. All right, senior investigative reporter Aaron Katursky. Aaron, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.